Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is part two of what is in my bathroom and I'm going to be showing you how I organize my medicine cabinet and how I kind of keep all of those things organized and under control and not just one big chaotic mess. Down in the bottom of this cupboard is where I keep all of my medicines. So I have two uh, pull-out drawers in this space and I have all of my things organized into category. So in these buckets right here, um, and these I just got years and years ago at Target, but you can get, you know, these types of things pretty much anywhere. I got them in the Target dollar spot. Um, a lot of times in the spring, which is when I got them, Target comes out with a lot of organizing things. So you might keep your eyes out for those um, in that area, but otherwise you can just get, you know, bucket organizers pretty much anywhere you're at. And then back here, I just made these little labels on PicMonkey um, to just kind of categorize the different things that I wanted to separate. So this one right here is just adult cold and flu relief. So I've got uh, Robitussin, and then I have some Vicks uh, rubs and cough drops. And then um, over here, I have adult allergy, and I just went through this the other day and got rid of some things that had expired, and so I need to um, replenish this, but right now all I have is just calamine lotion. And then in this one over here is adult pain relief, so I have um, some antacid, I've got some Tums, uh, Advil, and aspirin. And then I have some Icy Hot patches for back and um, just smaller spaces other than uh, backs. And then in this little container right here, I just got this years ago at Target. And I like it because, actually I'm sorry, this was from Walmart. Um, I like it because it has these little clasps right here and the lid can't pop off. But inside there, I keep my pill crusher, or not crusher, but splitter, and my thermometers. And then I just have a few of these different uh, little cups that come with the different medicines. And I just keep the ones that kind of have different um, dosage uh, labels on them. So you'll see really none of these are the same except for um, these 20 milliliter ones, and I have two of those just because if my kids are ever both sick at the same time, I don't really want them sharing. And I have that as well on this um, three teaspoon, two and one teaspoon, so I have two of those. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. This one's two and a half, one and a half, and a half. So the only doubles that I have are these uh, 20 ones right here. And then I just have a little syringe right there in case we ever have to give our dogs medicine. So I've got that in there. And then this is how I organize my band-aids. I have these two, whoops, sorry for all the noise, my gracious. I have these two little tackle boxes here. And let me bring it out here so you can see it better. Um, I just separated all of my band-aids into size. In this one, I have kind of the um, gauze stuff on the top, and then I have just some bacitracin and neosporin, things like that. The patches that are in this one are the larger patches. You can see right there, um, kind of the shadow of it, the size. So that one is full of the larger patches. And then this one right here is where I keep all of my band-aids. And what I did was I just separated them all out again according to size. And then what I did is I just took one of the band-aids and I just stuck it right on the outside. And so that way I know exactly what type of band-aid is in here and I'm not having to rummage through and oh my goodness, is this a big one, a small one or whatever. Um, so in these two sections right here, I just have this size band-aid and then in the middle one here I have a larger size 
These right here, I didn't uh, put one on the outside just because I only had a few of them and I didn't want to waste just one of a few. But I have some Neosporin in here as well and then these are just kind of your, um, a little bit bigger than, than this size. And then this one right here is just the um, medium clear size. And then these are the smaller ones, clear and regular. And so it's just an easy way for me to keep all of that organized and know exactly what it is that I'm grabbing. I don't have a ton of boxes lying around all over everywhere. Um, and then, you know, whenever I want to put a different size in there, then I just rip off the, the Band-Aid on the front and stick on there what is currently um, in that space. And then down below here is where I keep all of the kids' stuff. Now, my kids are old enough. Um, they don't come in here and, like, try to take things or eat things or whatever. So I don't have to be concerned about keeping it out of their reach. When they were little, I had this same exact system, but I had it in a much higher place where they could not reach. So back here I have my um, children's allergy. So we've got a lot of camphophonique ready for the summer. Uh, I've got some allergy relief here, and then I have these little uh, sore throat suckers. In the front, I have our children's pain relief. So I just have different pain relievers uh, in this one, along with a few of the chewables. Um, and then these are chewables as well. My kids hate the chewables. The chewables are actually for me, friends, because I am a child and cannot swallow pills. So there's that. And then over here, I just have children's cold and flu relief. So we've... Um, got that there. And then in the back is wound care. So I've got hydrogen peroxide, um, witch hazel. I've got this icy hot lidocaine and then I have a gauze wrap. And then here on the side, I have my toilet paper. That's where I store that. And then up front here, I have my, um, fearless confidence with essential oils. And this just, um, is a book that shows all different kinds of oils to diffuse and things to use for um, different situations and just all that kind of stuff. I really, really like this book. So if you are into essential oils, then um, I would highly suggest that book. So that is how I keep my uh, medicine cabinet organized. It works for us. It just makes it very clear to be able to see everything that we have. I don't have boxes and containers and all kinds of things just thrown in. I know exactly where to go for whatever situation um, I need medication for. Um, my husband can easily go and do that if I'm not home or if you know we have grandparents here watching the kiddos, they can come here and, and get what they need. It just keeps it really easy to keep this space maintained and organized and have it work for us and what we need it to do without it being just totally overwhelming and all consuming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and just share it with your friends. That just tells me that this is the type of content that you want me to continue producing and bringing to you guys. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please click on that red subscribe button down below. I would love it if you would join our community here. I have really, really big plans um, within the next three to four weeks and I am gonna be bringing you guys something and the bigger our community is, the better that is going to be able to function. So if you guys can just share these videos, share our community here with whoever you feel it would benefit, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you are not following me on Instagram, head over there. Um, I spend time there almost every day and it's just a way for you to get to know me outside of an edited video. Friends, until next time, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.